first magical video, I will show you how to arrange a cheap and easily affordable altar. So let's begin with these two things that I actually bought as new on Amazon. The rest of the stuff that you will see are things that I already had into my house or at least gifts. As you see, I bought a set of four incenses, mostly for purification, and a black table square cloth with a gold, lovely and witchy coining crescent moon. This last thing is the cheapest thing that I saw on Amazon. It was only like five and a half euro and I couldn't resist. If you're interested, I will list those things in the description box. I spent almost two days checking out all the incenses on Amazon and these ones are the most credited ones and I'm really not at all disappointed um, mostly I'm in love with the white sage one and I can't wait to both a new pair maybe try new sentences oh and I also bought some food for birds because we have outside on the house a uh, swallow nest and I'm so happy to feed them but for now they haven't eat nothing so I decided to put uh, it on a tree in front of my house so yeah now let's get dirty <laughs> I'm so sorry uh, that I haven't um, filmed a video on how I made this, these two little statues of the goddess and the god, um, but I maybe will do one um, in the next future, uh, or I think that you will find a lot of it uh, on YouTube here. So, as you can see, I've started uh, to paint um, firstly the goddess and the goddess symbol and then the horns uh, for the god and I chose uh, to paint them, one with gold and one with uh, silver paint and I had that paint since high school so I'm lucky that they were still uh, like usable <laughs> um, and also all the paint that I will use it's from high school but I think you can buy a really really affordable and cheap set of acrylic paint anywhere oh I forgot to mention that uh, the main material uh, for the statue is uh, and it's a polymer clay that dry uh, to the air as you can see I decided to paint both of them uh, with a natural um, color uh, that it's called I think Terra di Siena um, brown <laughs> brownish while I was painting the second one uh, so the god uh, the goddess was fully dry uh, also because uh, acrylic paint dry really fast and it's really easy to use and it's easy to wash out from hands uh, not so much uh, from clothes
and yeah while uh, painting I was mostly listening uh, to witchy videos uh, from some youtubers that uh, I discovered lately and one is the witch's cookery and the second one is Ella Harrison yeah, I recommend to follow them if you're new to this and you're just studying After I uh, decided to put a little bit more of silver paint because I just mess it up a little <laughs> and oh as a little reminder uh, remember to clean the mold brush uh, because it will try and it will be unusable so this is the final result and I'm so happy about it um, and I had a really really good vibe um, holding them Uh, it's like uh, vintage <laughs> so 
I decided to design this plate uh, for the earth element and I paint, painted the earth element on the back uh, with obviously green yeah that's a uh, cotton bud uh, but it's uh, bamboo so yeah since I decided to uh, use as an earth symbol my uh, sunstone, I decided to put something on the plate. That is a green sachet from a thing that I bought and that was the sunstone. The last but not the least, a fire element and I decided to use this a little box uh, that was gave to me uh, from one of my dearest friend and inside of it uh, that was a lovely bracelet and I will put that also on my altar so you will see it This is my main setup. I'm cleaning it right now and it's near my bed. I have a really really small room. I read somewhere that you must have the altar uh, outside of the bedroom. Uh, I feel just protected. going to clean it with um, Palo Santo uh, incense and while uh, doing it I will just visualize um, something really really peaceful Now let's begin with the setup. So firstly I wanted to place uh, my tablecloth that I think it's perfect. I didn't want something too long or too short and uh, I love uh, how it fit it perfectly. I uh, haven't uh, measured it it or something just going by heart I bought it so here I am just uh, like blessing the cloth and I already said that I love those incenses uh, Palo Santo it's great really uh, but white sage it's like oh my god going on. <laughs> Those two little black 
spaces are from Ikea and inside of them there were uh, two cactus and now I decided to put them uh, next to the deities and to place candles inside of them. The last thing that I actually bought were those crystals but the bowl I already had it. That is the bracelet uh, that was inside of the firebox, now it's the firebox and on it that's written dream. So I don't know, I just put it there because, because yes. Here it is the final setup and I'm just really really happy of how it turned out. Here is the goddess the a sunstone, the god and the bracelet, <laughs> a really close up to the bracelet and for the fire that keeps us warm. 